it's probably like 300 bucks made out of brass and that lays, weighs like 500 grams. Oh, actually, I think it actually is brass. It's heavy. Hello guys, welcome to this very special video because today is a very special day. A day I've been waiting for since a couple years. Uh, yeah, it's been a couple years and there's something happening today, but more on that a little bit later on in the video. And also today I want to talk about this puppy here, the Leica Q, the OG Q. You might be able to guess where this is leading to. And also if I mention that I will not film this in the studio because I will go somewhere else. And like I said, you might be able to guess where this is leading to. And also there will be somebody joining me on the strip somebody that has been on this channel before but you will see later on in the video so i would say let's hit the road and let's get this exciting day started fortunately though it's only a 90 minutes ride from where i live that's pretty convenient All right, guys, now we have arrived and I'm with Walter. Maybe yeah. you remember him from a video that I filmed in uh, in Melbourne. Uh, December? No, November. November. November, yeah, yes. was it was back in November. He also has his Leica camera with him. This is like a real OG Leica digital camera because it's an M8. So yes. this makes my Q look very young. I mean, it's yeah. like a young timer. This is an old timer. Yes. And as you, you might be able to see, we are at like a HQ in Wetzlar at the campus here, because today the new like a Q will be introduced. So the Q3 and this is the Q1. So this is a day I was looking forward since I don't know a couple years, since maybe since the Q2 came out because the Q2 for me was not a, a worthy upgrade, but the Q3 seems to be one. So and he will buy one at least one, right? Probably yeah. <laughs> maybe day. two. Maybe two. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you can. Uh, Trade this one in. Trade this one in. Maybe you get, uh, I don't know, make it 50 bucks. 50, maybe 60. <laughs> All right, maybe let's uh, go in there, check it out. And let me tell you about the, this camera because uh, there's some sort of story behind this camera, why I got this in. But more on that when we go in there. So let's go. Okay, guys, I came outside here because, uh, yeah, <laughs> you can't film inside. I asked them, but said, nah which is understandable because uh, there's a lot of valuable stuff in there. Anyway, so I want to talk to you about this camera here, my OG Leica Q, which I bought, I mentioned it before in, in a different video, eight years ago. And back then, uh, I've never used the Leica before. So this was basically my first Leica I've ever used. And when this got announced, I was shooting, back then I was shooting a Fuji X100S and I also had an Olympus. Uh, an ohm one and i was shooting basically in full frame equivalent like a 35 basically suddenly i saw that this got announced so i was intrigued the first second i saw this because a fixed lens like on the fuji i like that a 28 a little bit wider than 35 and i thought man this is might be the perfect camera for what i'm doing but there was the price tag like four thousand euros back then uh, and i thought man that's really expensive anyways i called my dealer and I asked, hey, would you get this camera? I said, yeah, I will get one the day after the announcement. I said, okay, I will stop by. I want to check it out. So I did that. And after trying it for a few seconds, I knew, okay, this is the camera I want to buy. And I did. Maybe two weeks left and then it's pretty much eight years, which is crazy. I still have this camera and I probably shot with this camera around maybe somewhere between 150 to 200,000 photos all over the world. It did not matter where I brought it, it always worked. I, the first, I think the first trip that I did was to uh, Portugal. And back then on my website, I did a review. This was before I made YouTube. And then the second trip that I made was to Iran. And then it was pretty much the only camera that I used during that time. And I was so happy with the results I got. And also I re back then I realized how easy it is to shoot this camera because nobody takes you seriously with this one because it's lightweight small and looks like just a tourist camera and that for me was uh, an eye-opener basically so from that 
time on, I knew, okay, this is, there's no way I'm going to shoot something else for street because this for me is the perfect camera. And I also got really quickly got used to shooting 28 mil. And yeah, I mean, then the Q2 got announced, but for me personally, I couldn't see myself upgrading because uh, 24 megapixels for me is just fine in terms of noise. It's not a better camera, so the Q2 is not better uh, because it has higher resolution. Basically, in low light, it's pretty much the same. So I did not upgrade uh, to the Q2. It was finally time to head inside and check out the Q3. All right, guys, here's the Q3. There were lots of people, so but now I finally hands on with the Q3. Um, this one has a, a golden lens shade. Um, this is, I mean, I like the shape, but I don't like the color. Also, the thumbs up is golden. Not my favorite, that's for sure, but other than that, it's very familiar. It's, um, it feels like a Q, it feels like it should. I think the body it looks like it's almost unchanged. Let's see the viewfinder. Oh yes, okay. So the viewfinder is, uh, looks pretty good. I think it's almost, it looks similar to an SL, I would say. Um, but now, one big selling point of this camera will be the screen, which is it shoots out a little bit, a little bit too much, right? So Walter's focused on filming, but he does not like the screen. Mm -hmm. So let's get the screen out. It's very thick, but you can only flip it down like this. This is the maximum. It's not as flexible as other ones, but it feels very, it's very sturdy. I mean, man, it takes some effort to get it out, but I don't see this breaking uh, easily. I think that was probably a concern uh, putting a, such a screen on the camera like this. Let's try AFC. I'm AM, AFS right now because this has now face detection autofocus. So let's see if I'm tracking. Oh, yes. Okay. That's uh, too close. Yeah, it's much better. Yeah, it's a big improvement. If I track my cameraman here. Yeah, it's no comparison. It's, it's much better compared to um, the Q2 or even the, the original Q for sure. Autofocus is not super important to me because I use zone focusing a lot. But if the autofocus is improved, it's a nice to have. That's for sure. So the lens is pretty much the same. Besides that, I mean, yeah, you can now shoot 8K video, but honestly, I don't really care about video. Let's see if there's a... Nope. No microphone, HD mini, HDMI and uh, Type-C port. I did not see a microphone input, so I asked if it's possible to use the USB to plug in the microphone. All right, guys, so we'll, there will be um, microphone input through USB Type-C with an adapter or, or you have a microphone that has Type-C, so they will come with a firmware. Not sure when, but it will come. Very good. So then maybe it makes sense for video. Um, in the other Q cameras, video is just a gimmick, but in this one, on the Q3, it's really capable and that took me by surprise. For video, um, it has 8K. I don't need 8K, but you can shoot 10-bit um, 4 to 2 and you can shoot in lock profile. And also, you can use LUTs. You can uh, upload LUTs to the camera through the um, SD card and then you can use LUTs, which is pretty nice to have. And this makes this maybe a good option for a B cam. Maybe if I go somewhere and I just want to bring one camera, one camera only for photos and video, then I could use this. And also let's see how, what the battery life is if you um, record an 8K. Um, I've been told that if you use the batteries from the Q2, you cannot record 8K. You're limited to 4K, which is fine. But for photos, um, it's, it doesn't matter because this battery has a high capacity. All right, so. This basically concludes my first impressions on the Q3. Oh man, I always want to say code Q2. <laughs> Honestly, now that I look at it, I really like the golden note. Maybe I should get the golden note. You should. What do you think? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, let me know in the comments. Uh, should I get the, the, <laughs> the golden note here? It's probably like 300 bucks made out of brass and that lays, weighs like 500 grams. Oh, actually, I think it actually is brass. It's heavy. Take it. It's really heavy.
Okay, it's confirmed, it's brass. Nice, okay. So you don't need to brass it yourself, it's already <laughs> fully brass for you. All right, that now finally concludes my first look at the Q3. And when I have mine, I will let you know after using it a little bit uh, what I really think about this camera. So. Right guys, uh, that's it for today's video. If you like this episode, as always, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future and more Q3 videos uh, more specifically. And we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.